come back to the channel and this lab is just recently updated and because of that it's not properly configured so i request you please watch the video very carefully so first of all just me log in with your credentials and once done with this just me come back over here and just me activate your cloud share it will take a couple of seconds meanwhile what you do just me come back over here click on the task number one and from here just me copy this command copy like this come back over here wait for a second now Now just simply paste the command over here, wait for a second and then click on authorize. Now again come back over here, scroll down and from here just simply copy this command. Come back over here, wait for a second and just simply run over here. Now what you do, now here just simply search for the document AI. Open this thing new tab, come back over here. Just simply wait and then click on this workbench. Now here you can see custom document extractor. Just me click on this pro create processor and for the processor name, just me click on the task number two. Just me scroll down and from here you can see this name. Just me copy like this way and make sure that you do not copy any extra space. Just me copy like this, come back over here and just me paste over here. Now here you can see region. For me the given region is US. If you just me come back to the lab instruction and if you are able to find a different region over here, then you can just be continue with that. Otherwise you can just be continue with the US region. Now, now click on this create now just simply wait and it's done now if you just scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue and if you are not able to get a score no need to worry because lab take time to update a score so just simply keep hitting on the check my progress you will get a score for sure now task number three is little bit tricky so i request you please pay attention over here first of all what you do just me copy this command come back over here click on this dashboard now just me run this command over here just me hit enter wait for a second and it's done now if you just scroll down and click on this check my progress you will not get a score the reason is behind that what you do just me come back over here click over here now just me copy this name carefully just me copy like this way click on this back arrow and just me wait click on this three dot and then click on this create delete processor just me click over here and just me paste a name over here and then click on this delete wait for a second now And it's done. Now again click on this create custom processors. Now click on this create processor for the custom document extractor. Now just me paste a name over here like this way. Now what you do, click on this advanced option and from the storage location just me choose I will specify my own location. Just me click over here, just me click over here and then click on this select and it's done. Now click on this create button. Now just simply wait. And it's done. Now if you just simply click on this check my progress, you will get a score without any issue. Now task number four is very easy. What you do, just simply copy this command carefully, come back over here, click on this build and then click on this import documents. Now just simply paste over here. Now if you just simply scroll down and here you can see data split, it's unassigned. So that's why we will choose a unassigned like this way and then click on this import. And it's done. Now if you just scroll down and click on this check my progress, you will get a score without an issue. And if you are not able to get a score over here, the reason is behind that. Here you can see it's importing your data. And that's the reason we are not getting a score here. No need to worry. You can just be move forward with the task number 5. Now I request you, task number 5 is little bit tricky. So I request you please watch the video very carefully. So what you do, just me scroll down and from here just me copy this name. Just me copy like this way. Come back over here. Now here you can see case started. Just me click over here. And then click on this create new field now for the name just simply paste name over here now for the data type just simply choose a number as they mention over here now here you can see occurrence for that all we had to choose just simply required multiple so just simply click over here and from here just simply choose that and then click on this create just simply wait and now just we cross verify this thing with this if you are able to find any difference just simply correct it now copy this thing carefully click over here now again just me paste over here now for the data type just me copy this thing and just me click over here and plain text so it's plain text now for the occurrence it must be require multiple and then click on this create and it's done now again copy this name carefully come back over here click over here just me paste over here and make sure that there is no extra face over here now for this it must be data type as a plain text one for the occurrence it must be required multiple and then click on this create so we have done with three labels now for for just me copy this, come back over here, click over here, paste over here. And now for the data type, just simply choose a address.
because they mention over here now for the occurrence it must be required multiple and then click on this create so we are done with four label now i request you please watch video very carefully copy this name come back over here click over here now just paste over here and for the data type it must be money so just me click over here and just me choose the money and then click on this occurrence and just me click on this required multiple and then click on this create and it's done now again scroll down copy this name come back over here just me paste over here and just be like this now for the data type it must be money and for the occurrence it must be required multiple and then click on this create so we have done with this thing as well now here just we copy this come back over here click over here paste over here and for the data type just me from here just me choose money and for the occurrence just me click on this required multiple and then click on this create like this way now for the last just me copy this thing carefully again click over here paste and then click over here choose money and for the occurrence it must be required multiple and then click on this create and it's done now if you just scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue and if you are not able to get a score over here no need to worry just keep hitting on check my progress you over here we will get a score without any issue just simply wait and watch after waiting for at least five to ten minutes and if you still not able to get a score over here just cross verify this thing with this okay and if you are able to find a mistake over here just simply correct that mistake okay now just me scroll down now for the task number six what you do we don't have to do anything now just me come back over here and click on the task number seven now what you do over here is just me click on this build and then click on this manage data set now just me click over here like this select all and from here just me choose the training just simply like this way now if you just scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue just simply wait and watch just simply wait and as you can see it's done now task number eight is very easy what you do just me copy this thing carefully just me copy like this way come back over here now here you can see documents import document just me paste over here now here you can see upload from cloud storage and just me click over here just like this now if you just me scroll down then copy this thing carefully again click on this and another and just me paste over here now i request you please pay attention over here this is a training so that's why as a data split we are going to choose training and this is a test so we are going to choose as a test like this way and then click on this import and it's done now just wait and it's importing and once it's done we will get a score on this task without any issue just simply wait and watch And it's done now if you just simply click on this check member progress you will get a score without any issue and if you just me come back over here and click on the all check my progress you will get a score without any issue just simply wait and watch and as you can see it's done and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys